What is going on guys? Welcome to FTV Family Time Vlogs Dad Talk. I know it's been a while since we had a dad talk, but now that we kind of have some things set in stone and we kind of have a plan of what we're doing and what's going on in the near future, I figured I'd come on here and share it with everybody. First and foremost, thank you everybody for this 100,000. I can't believe it. I'm so, uh, I'm just over the moon thankful so is the whole family when it came the kids were so jealous because they actually started a channel a long time ago but um they didn't commit and keep up with it so it did pretty well it was a toy story one um but ultimately um you know so they were excited to see it we took a family photo right here i'll snap it and uh, we just had a blast. We, we were so happy that day when it came. Thank you all so much. Can't believe it. I can't believe what, what the future holds. I'm trying to create a system where uh, my full-time job and my vlogs, I can get on like a good rhythm going because right now I, I, I know I'm slacking, but thank you for bearing with me on the full vlogs. I try to keep you guys entertained with shorts in the meantime, so. I hopefully that fills a void. I know I've been doing like a lot of soda ones recently because I feel like a lot of people like the soda ones. I don't know. But thank you guys so much. Big news um, before we talk about the upcoming trips is mom actually volunteered and wanted to take over the Family Time Vlog Instagram account. We had an Instagram account for a long time. I gave her all the information to it. I had to figure it out because I forgot the password and everything. But she has fully taken it over. I'm gonna pop a link if you can follow that. That'd be great. Um, mom's complete in control of that. Love it. You'll read and see things first there probably before you will on YouTube because she does it at the moment as we're doing it. So that's just awesome. Thank you mom for doing that. Now. Coming up to the big news, what's going on this summer. I know a lot of people were commenting and asking if we're doing Disney again. We are going back to Florida, of course, for our 2023 summer vacation. But we were um, debating and going back and forth whether we're going to do Disney World, Universal, or Cruise. We were leaning heavy towards a cruise this year because we kind of want to do a cruise, whether it be Carnival or Disney Cruise or Virgin whatnot we priced everything and they were all kind of like in the same ballpark we ruled out universal because the mario land opens next year so definitely next year probably not going to see a disney vlog it's probably going to be an extended stay at universal studios and do the mario world and um the simpsons zone and everything that they have going on harry potter and all that fun stuff but we're gonna hold off on that till next year then it came between the cruise and disney world and um they were both high in our budget we didn't know which one we were gonna do the cruise looked tempting we almost did it and then at the very end disney came through with the deal which was if uh, you get four days in the park five nights at a resort and you get a hundred dollars credit per person for food so we'll get four hundred dollars for food credits that you can use anywhere in disney property including springs because you guys know i love my earl of sandwich there and homecoming which is my favorite chicken restaurant in the world um you can use it there sanaa gotta get back there so i'm like we're gonna spend the money anyways this is just a bonus and then we got a package deal which included four days in the park five nights in a hotel a new resort that we never stayed in i'm keeping that a secret just for now um before i share it but it's gonna be a surprise, but that is happening. It's happening. Disney World 2023, it's official. We almost didn't do it because the 50 year ended, Splash Mountain closed and nothing really going on except the 100 year, but ultimately we're like, let's do it. Besides, I think you guys enjoy the Disney vlogs better. I know we do, I know I do. I don't know, Car whatever, <laughs> that's exciting. Second up, 
We just booked a room for Memorial Day weekend. Let me tell you guys, it is just about April. This is late, usually this time. Prior years, you would have a hard time finding a room. This year, there is zero problems finding a room. The problem is all the prices on rooms got hiked. We are talking for like really old and crummy hotels, motels. You're looking at 250 to 300, some even more. The nicer ones, you're looking at 300 to $400 per night. I'm like, what happened? Uh, I mean, I know everything's going up in the world, but wow. The hotels in Wildwood really took a, whew. We went back and forth. Mom ultimately decided and said, no, we always do Memorial Day weekend at Wildwood. It's MDW, we have to do Wildwood. But I was all for, I'm like, let's just fly out to Disney for an extended weekend. It's almost the same price or go to, um, we've been wanting to go to a couple different places. Like we want to go and see Niagara Falls and everything. So I'm like, let's just go there, like Placid, something, I don't know. But ultimately she looked around, she really shopped because she really wanted to stay there. And she found um, a good deal on a new hotel. It's in the Crest. It's still a walkable distance to the boardwalk. It's about eight blocks, but it's a new hotel. We're, gonna, we're excited. It's ocean view, not ocean front, but it looks nice. We're excited to review it, check it out. And it was within our price range. So we're like, all right, let's do it with the special that they gave us. Um, so MDW 2023, it's official, back to Wildwood. I know a lot of you guys will be happy about that. Um, the thought of not going to Wildwood is like, wow. Other than that, we have some vlogs coming up. I know I've been taking, it, it's, this editing process has been slow. We were sick for a little while, so I stalled on getting the last Strasbourg vlog up. But I just want to let you guys know what's coming up. The end of Strasbourg, the last Strasbourg is coming up. We did like a bar hop and it's it's just about done. It'll be up probably maybe the same time as this or around the same time. Other than that, we went to PA. If you guys are following the Instagram page, mom was posting pictures from PA. We did a cheesesteak crawl. We actually did this vlog years ago when the boys were young, but I just never got around to editing and posting it. It just didn't, it didn't, it wasn't going well for me. Like I just, I wasn't feeling it. But this year we did the crawl properly. We went to almost every cheese steak place. We got great footage. We ranked our favorite cheese steaks and that vlog is coming up soon too. And then after that, today actually, I just got done filming um, a little vlog for the Joker 2 movie, they're actually filming in an abandoned isolation hospital that was in Belleville, New Jersey, which is about like 25 minutes from where I am. Not very far. I just got done filming there, checking the area out, what it's like. It's pretty cool. It's gonna look great for Arkham Asylum. It has that feel, it fits. It's gonna be great. And I just, it's gonna be fun to just know that I went there and saw I'm filming when I go watch the movie. Other than that, guys, that's about it. That's all the official news. Like I said, if you guys just wanna follow the Instagram page, that'd be great. Mom would really appreciate that. We really appreciate the 100,000. Thank you so much. And um, I can't wait. I can't wait for the future. It looks good. Other than that, we might have like a couple like vacations that we do spur of the moment, but nothing like really official. All right, guys, we'll see you. Peace.